Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. It's Monday. It's our favorite day of the week. That's right. It's time for Hello, yeah. Woo, man, I tell you. Uh, so, you know, we just passed Friday the 13th, right? Yeah. We just passed it, and, you know, all them superstitions. So there was this uh, kind of interesting, It's they call it the world's most unluckiest flight. It was flight 666. It flew on Friday the 13th to hell. Like, oh also known God. as Helsinki, which <laughs> three-letter abbreviation is H-E-L. Um, hold on, I just got to find where uh, Copenhagen and Helsinki. Uh, they boarded a flight. Nothing happened. There was no yeah, yeah. There was no incident on it. It wasn't unlucky for anything, except it was flight 666 to hell. Uh, I, I wonder if uh, 666 isn't as much of a, a bad number over in Europe as it is to... Because I know it's a... a well, it's big... like the 13th floor, you know? No, like, they don't put 13 on yeah. elevators, which to me is like... It's just a damn number. It really Superstition. I, no, I get it's... it, but but I, I thought that was I, I thought that was funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Imagine seeing that. If you were super superstitious, imagine getting your ticket. Six... Uh, uh, no. <laughs> I want a different... I would like please. a different flight, please. I'm going to take the bus. Yeah. Yeah. You end up dying in a bus crash yeah, because you're yeah. like, your superstition. Um... So as syphilis starts to hit record numbers in the States and Japan, Japan has decided to take on a campaign to prevent this. They've decided to go the route of nostalgia and enlist the help of Sailor Moon. They now have a uh, print ad and a television ad for with Sailor Moon in it telling people to go get tested for STDs to help prevent the, uh, the uh, possible epidemic that is happening. And, uh, well, anime is pretty big in Japan, right? Oh, so. it's it's way bigger in Japan than it is in North America. But uh, Sailor Moon is what twenty five, thirty years old, somewhere around there. And um, good or bad, people are talking, so it's kind of doing. That's what it's pretty much what, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do with with ads or campaigns. You're supposed to get people talking, and if it gets people talking, hey, yeah, yeah, it, it was it was very weird, and and I guess uh, they're also doing another. Ad uh, involves a giant robot, and nobody understands why a giant robot. But people are saying it says uh, when you get back from being overseas, make sure or before you go overseas, get tested for measles because there are mm. uh, measles outbreaks happening out in various spots around the world right now. I think measles is like a. Like it's a, supposed to be a dead disease. Fucking anti vaxxers. <laughs> Uh, well, it's not just anti-vaxxers, but that's a different like story. Different story. Anyway, we'll, we'll keep on the STD uh, kind of thing, STD pre- pre- prevention. You know how men, you know, sometimes it's, you know, you're near the moment, and one was like, "Oh, put a condom on," and you know, men come up with all these excuses. Oh, it doesn't blah blah blah. You know, all that shit, right? Yeah, I'm sure we've all used the excuse once in our life, or twice, or more. Um. Anyways, apparently, um. The scientists or somebody, somebody who you know was smart and and said, "Give me grant money to do this cool experiment." Experiment has figured out the right reason, the real reason that men do not want to wear condoms. And you guys out there aren't going to be happy. It's because the average condom is too big for most men. Let that sink in for a little bit. And ladies, let that sink in for a little bit. So when that man goes, it's too... I don't fit them. They're lying. Uh, yeah, it's like, I'm too big. It's like, no. No, you're not. That actually triggered memories. Uh, no, no, no. It's okay. Um, in uh, South America, uh, condom sales were in the toilet, right? And the executives actually there decided the one way to increase condom sales was to increase the size of the condoms on the box. So uh, a medium would sell mm. a large, a large would sell an XL, Smart. right? And condoms just started flying off the shelf. And then it also reminds me of another story. This was from World War II. Uh, soldiers actually used to keep, uh, use condoms and put them over the t- uh, tips of the barrels of the guns to keep the, the barrels dry. And uh, Winston Churchill actually stated that if we're going to continue doing this, he doesn't care that they do, just make sure that the uh, uh, the sizes printed on them are one size smaller. All right. <laughs> um, so, so the study shows that the average condom is um, 2.5 centimeters, which is about an inch longer than the average 
erect penis. Isn't that why it rolls? No, they're saying when it's like on, it's too big. Oh. Like so, it's a, it's like an inch longer than it should be for that the average means person. You unrolled it too far. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> what are you what are you supposed to short it? I don't know. I don't know. I've been with the same one for, for ten fucking years, so <laughs> I don't have that problem. Uh, I got a small dick, but I don't have the problem with <laughs> condoms here, guys. Like I'm not like jeez. Anyways, uh, I just they roll right, so well, like you just stop when you run out of penis. Well, you would think, you would think, <laughs> you would think. I don't. You know. don't unroll the whole thing and then try to put it on. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like well, you uh, would uh, think. Okay. Um. <laughs> to, yeah. You wow. would think putting on what, a condom what, wouldn't be so hard. Yeah. No it kidding. Would just be sense. But again, we have to tell people not to uh, not to drink bleach. You know, we have to yeah, put warning labels on bleach, true. so... It, it is on... Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, and we're allowed to procreate, Jesus. Yeah. Um, uh, one teacher uh, has been charged, and two are on the lam from a daycare, which is weird, teachers oh, at a daycare. Uh, th- uh, three teachers were caught on camera. They were Instagramming or Snapchatting or whatever it is, and... They were playing with a sex toy around the children and even got one of them uh, little boys to touch the sex toy. What is wrong with people? Yeah. Uh, I heard this story too, yeah. The wife I, I, showed I, it to me and I went, uh, she goes, that's why we're kids are in daycare. And I'm like, no, I know. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, just hearing something like that, it's kind of like... Uh, um, Okay, I'm not the smartest dude in the world. Uh, never claim to be, never will claim to be. Okay? Um, but what goes through a person's mind to think that's a good idea? Around kids. Like, like I, I totally understand. Like, uh, um, we had a moving incident one time. Uh, we were moving, and we lugged in some luggage, and one of the luggages fell open, and that's our, our mother's supply of sex toys just flopped all over. Wow, the thanks floor. for uh, rehashing that memory. Appreciate that. <laughs> Nightmares for a long time now. Appreciate that. <laughs> they just flopped all over the, the floor. and Now and... that condom's going to be five inches too long for me. <laughs> I, I was just walking up the stairs this has happened, but then like one, one of the, the our parents' friend was like, wow, you have your priorities straight. <laughs> <laughs> Nightmares, nightmares, nightmares. Uh, Whatever. Obviously, we had to come from somewhere. (laughs) Right? We had to be here. We're here somehow, some way. We didn't just magically start, brought us and went, hey, here you go. Raise a baby. No, it didn't happen that way. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Somebody would have said no. But yeah, well, like, what goes through people, especially to, like, put on video? Like, I, you see I, so many things nowadays. I get it if it was just three women together fooling around, but you know you're at a daycare, daycare. yeah, and then putting it on yeah. Snapchat. It's like, yeah, does that not just set off alarms in your brain going, Bing, Bing, Bing? Do not do like, like why is it as soon as you turn on a camera that the people get the stupid? IQs yeah. just drop like a camera? Here's this fucking no IQ. What? Huh? <laughs> I'm sure it's happened to me. Like I'm sure that. If if this was around when I was younger, like were these? How old were these ladies? I don't even know. I, they were older ladies, weren't they? Uh, late twenties, late twenties, early thirties. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what I thought too. But I know that if I was when I was younger, early twenties, if there was cameras and stuff like, oh, something bad, screwed. There, there'd be something bad of me on the internet. Oh yeah, there. Yeah. Come on, look at <laughs> I've pre- heard stories. Look, look look at the previous videos that we have. Yeah. There's bad shit on the internet, and I'm in my thirties. <laughs> Brumch. There we go. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'll go off the sex, off the sexual things. And uh, um, this article calls them cheese toasties, but it's grilled cheese. Cheese toasties? Apparently, okay. we've been making grilled cheese wrong our whole entire life. And I've heard about this, what they said in the article. Uh, you know, what's our standard way for making grilled cheese? Throw some butter on there. Yeah. Cheese in a pan. Cook it. Nice golden brown. Okay. Two pieces of bread. Cheese. Yeah. You know, well, obviously, obviously, you can put whatever you want in there. You can mix it up. You can do whatever. But apparently, this article, and I've heard of this before, and I thought "Mm, I might have to try it one time, just to see if it tastes. They're saying because butter burns a little bit faster. Hmm. Apparently, 
uh, to use mayonnaise. Oh. Uh, mayonnaise will give you that perfect golden brown crisp, that perfect crunch on the outside all the time. That's what, that's what it says. And I've heard people doing this, and I've seen people doing this, and I thought, that's disgusting. But I like mayonnaise. Like, I'm a big mayo fan. When, I'm, when I make my burgers, I'm like, boom, mayonnaise. Artery clogging, mayonnaise. So, and they're saying it's because it's like butter when it separates. You've seen butter sometimes that separates. It yeah. more, and they're saying mayonnaise doesn't because it's emulsified properly. Um, so it doesn't separate. So it won't It'll cook evenly. It'll give you that nice. I know it sounds weird, doesn't it? I'm going to try it. Hey, food review idea. Grilled cheese two ways. We would actually have to find a third way. Yeah, we'd it's have to just, find a... Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, you know what? We do butter, we do mayonnaise, and we do cheese on the outside. Because I've heard that one. You know, sometimes you put cheese on the outside, and you oh. grill the cheese, boom, boom. You put cheese in the middle, too. Yeah. Like, like cheating. That's... Mm. Oh, dun, dun, dun. I'm going to write that one down. Yeah, no kidding. Grilled cheese. Mayo. Butter. Cheese. Now, hopefully I can read that in a week. Normally I can't. <laughs> but I have heard of that before, and I thought oh, that's wow, disgusting, okay. but I no, might, no, that might have to try Challenge accepted, actually. Yeah, yeah, we might have to try it. We'll have to, like we'll have to grill cheese it early in the morning. That would be weird, but whatever. Mm-hmm. First meal of the day. Do you got any more headlines? Yeah. We, okay. Was that three? For that you? was three for me, oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah, we were talking about sex for so long. That's that right. Kind of blended together. Yeah. <laughs> See what happens when you talk about sex? It's just, yeah. even when you're talking about your parents' sex toys, it just fucks your mind up. <laughs> um, this will be the video that goes viral. Yeah, us, yeah. Talking this, about our parents' sex toys. toys. This is fantastic. Oh, Mom's going to love us. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm sure she relegated that one to the back of her probably doesn't even know what YouTube is, so it doesn't even really matter. Even though we tell her all the time, hey, check out our YouTube show. What? Subscribe. What's YouTube? Yeah. yeah. Uh, The last one I got is um, uh, police came across a very interesting scene. Uh, They found an older gentleman in his 40s living with his uh, mother and brother which normally isn't a bad thing, but both of them were dead. I knew it was going on. <laughs> knew it. Uh, and I guess they had been there for a couple of years. Okay. Yeah. This is this is going to go off on a little bit of a, no, a wire here. Totally um, okay. I, I don't know if you're watching the new American Horror Stories. No. Cult. Uh, okay. Oh, it started. Yep. Oh, okay. It's like four or five episodes in. Okay. And this show is hitting the nail on the head... Perfectly, and you know how it ties into this is because the main character, the main character, is he like killed his parents, and he was living with their dead bodies. Huh? And I was like, whoa! And the things that are happening in this world are it like centers around like Trump and all that, stuff, and it's just weird, and it's it's totally like it just mind fucks you, just like hard, and like it's 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 good. It's a good show, and that's what kind of where it reminded me. I was like, oof, yeah, I knew wow. it was going there. And, I, I might have to check it out. Then. Yeah, if you check it out, maybe we'll review it. Uh, it maybe we will. Um, but, man, it's eerily sim- similar to what's happening, and I'm going, it's creepy. It's, it's, like, it's like these guys are running the country, and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> this is weird. But that's weird. I don't understand how you could do that. Do they not smell? Yeah, like... I know I have a dead sense of smell, but but I I I know uh, rotting flesh. And actually, don't you like discreet like like doesn't all your bodily fluids let loose after a certain uh, amount of time when you die? Uh, well, he might have cleaned them up. <sighs> the police weren't exactly like giving a lot of details about oh, this. I can, just, I can like picture his apartment or his house or whatever he lived in in my head, and it doesn't. Do, do, do you remember the the movie uh, Seven? Yeah. Uh, the one with Brad Pitt. Yeah, you remember the emulsiated guy that was kept alive. That that's Oof. what I picture when, you know. But he's not alive, <laughs> type thing. Oof. That's so, just gross, man. Yeah. Oh, there's some fucked up people in this world. There are. Sometimes I wish we didn't have the internet. 
Because then we wouldn't know about this stuff. Yeah, we'd hear rumors. And yeah, you'd hear rumors, and it'd be yeah, you would just think it's a myth. Yeah, no, yeah, it's that's real. Very true. Actually. The internet has made it real. Uh, so coming up this week, we have got some more exciting videos for you. Uh, we've got uh, what are we? Do? We're talking about s- some sports and yeah. some sports in the world. Uh, we're we're continuing our flop buster series. It's, it's I think the, the f- finale it's of the, the finale f- of flop busters. Buster. So um, and uh, we got some uh, some more food. Wow. Well, some drink reviews coming this week. Ooh, uh, so check us out. Drinks. Um, <laughs> maybe we'll have to do those type of drinks one time. Um, but check us Wobbly out. Pops. Coming out this week. Coming on coming coming at you this week. So I uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of the fun, any of the action. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. All one of you. Yeah.